Hi guys, welcome back. I recently had a request for the worked out case number three for the quadrilateral detective. So I'm gonna just kind of go through the answers here. I'm not actually going to show all of the working out, although it's all here. Uh, so you would of course plot those points and then when you look at it, you have a hunch that it's a square. So in order to prove that something is a square, you can show that all four of the angles are right angles, and then you can show that all four of the sides are congruent, which would require here the distance formula four different times. So if you didn't want to do that, you could also show that the diagonals are perpendicular because that is unique to rhombuses, and if a um, quadrilateral is a rectangle and a rhombus, then it's a square. So if you show that there are four right angles, and then you show that the diagonals are also perpendicular, you can say that it's a square. Um, so here are the slopes for the four different sides. So you can see that um, these two are parallel. So AB is parallel to CD. And then also these two are parallel. So AD is parallel to BC. So that makes it a parallelogram. And because the slopes are negative 5 over 3 and then positive 3 over 5, you also have the perpendiculars here. AB is perpendicular to BC, and it's also perpendicular to AD. CD is perp perpendicular to BC and also to AD. So you've got all four right angles at that point. Then you can find the slopes of the diagonals, AC and BD. So those are also perpendicular, AC is perpendicular to BD, and so at that point you know that it's a rhombus because the diagonals are perpendicular. So if it is a parallelogram, check, with four right angles, check, whose diagonals are perpendicular, check, then it's a square. Um, then it also asks for the area of each of these figures, and so to do that I did find the distance formula, I found the length, of one of the sides, it doesn't matter which one, I just did CD because since it's a square, all the sides are going to be the same. So that worked out to be the square root of 136, which I did not even calculate as a decimal because to get the area, you're going to turn right around and square it. So then you end up with an area of 136 square units. Hope that helps. That's all for now. Have a great day.